Well, welcome to the December show. Uh, it's day six. And uh, we went to the company Christmas party last night. It was, uh, you know. What a time. <laughs> so glad beer announcer didn't come this year. Yeah, well, he would have just been in that gimp suit again. Well, like, last year he was talking all night about hitting on this tall chick with big, like, 80s hair. Uh, and it turned out it was just the tree in the hotel lobby. Things got a little awkward, so uh, well, he's no, not allowed back. This is the thing, is that I kept telling you, he didn't care once he found out it was the tree. He just kept going. <laughs> Speaking of our favorite foliage fondler. Oh, you mean beer announcer? Exactly. Yeah, let's uh, have him give us the first beer of this episode. Ah, shut up. Today's Phillips Snowcase beer is Slipstream from the Phillips Brewing Company. You know what my favorite part of this series is? Is we throw the beer announcer and then beer just appears right in front of us. It's we, like magic. We come back and all of a sudden it's like, oh, there's beer. I don't even know how it works. <laughs> Probably that wizard. I want to pick up this beer. Yeah. I want to put it... To my eye. I'm gonna look at the color. I like it. I'm gonna give it a little. It's got a little. It's like oaky. It's a rich mahogany oh, color. Oh, yes, very much so. <laughs> it's the really richest nice. mahogany. <laughs> it's a little dry. Yeah, it's a little lackluster. It's like half a. It tastes like watered down beer. Yeah, like none of the good stuff, all of the just bitter. Yeah. Yeah. One beard. One beard. I don't like this one. You know, it's the first beer of the day. I'm going to be generous. Two beards. Just giving away beards. What do you think? They grow on trees? They no. grow on faces. They grow on men. Urgh. That's why I gave my, my, my rating so quick, is I just want to get through it. It's like sex with beer announcer. You know, you just want to get it done and get on to the next thing. You know who else is a man who likes to grunt? Beer announcer. Absolutely. Well, I mean, as long as there are other men around. Was that supposed to be Tim Allen or prepubescent teenage boys? Well, anyway, today's Craft Crossing beer is Red Racer Northwest Pale Ale from Central City Brewers. I didn't like that last beer. I want to just get it out of the way. Let's let's drink this. Wash her down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got a, like a piney smell to it. It does a little bit like a forest, like a walk in the forest. That must be why beer announcer liked it so much. It's it's not bad. Uh, yeah, it's just too hoppy for me. I, I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll do the rating first. No one wants to price this right, anybody. I, I liked it better than the last one. I'm gonna give it your rating from the last one. I'll give this guy a two. Give this guy a two. It's it could be better. Needs improvement. Nice nice first effort. Needs a little bit of work. It's refined for what it is, so I'm going to give it a 2.5. 2.5, all 2. right. 2.5. 2.5 and feel it alive. Boop, 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 buddy. You know who else is alive, unlike the hookers in his trunk? Beer announcer. You better watch out. You better not out. You better not cry. I'm telling you why. Bandit well is from the big sky brewing company. The guy on the bottle sure looks like beer announcer. Certainly does. I mean, he's hairy and... Spilling alcohol. Covered in green. He's got those pointy shoes. Like an elf would wear. I have this theory where beer announcer is actually an elf. But I can't prove it because uh, every time I take a picture of him, you know, nothing shows up in the photo. Like he's a vampire. Maybe he is a vampire. No, I don't think so. I have no proof of that. Maybe if I could get a photo. Maybe he's a wizard. The wonderful wizard of booze. That's my favorite type of wizard. Oh, man. We should uh, partake of his libations. Ooh, it smells really good. Yeah, it's strong. Let's drink. I like this one, Ed. Yeah. I like this one a lot. It's giving me some Salty Scott flashbacks. It's got a very unique flavor profile and it is a little darker, a little stronger, which I am really enjoying. I really like it. I want to get to the ratings. Can we do the ratings? Because I really like this one. What would you give this strong beer? I'm going to give it 3.75 beers. I really like this beer, guys. Check it out. I'm going to just slightly undercut you. 
Uh, uh, I think there's a term for that. Your price is wrong, bitch. Uh, it's going to be three and a half beards. Three and a half. I knew you were going to say that. That's okay, because I'll respect it because you're giving it a good rating, because I really like this beer. Oh, uh, this beer's so strong. I just want it to, like, hold and cuddle me tight at night. Oh, yeah, keep you safe and warm. Yeah, I, I would be this beer's little spoon. I'd love for this beer to just pick me up and carry me over its threshold, you know, right into our new home together. Our little beer kids running around. Your wife's dead, and then this beer rides up on a white horse while you're filming a tampon commercial. <laughs> and you're like, take me now, strong beer! Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to drop a like and a subscribe. Don't forget to share the video with your friends and come back tomorrow for another one. I'm Jeff Wood. This is Edward McIntyre. This has been Beer. Thanks for watching.